Staff Eric plays multiplayer Civ 6. Here we go. Civ 6 multiplayer for today, the 9th of March. All right, I've got a tip of service. Man always nice. remembers a woman's birthday. Holy Wars, the Brisha Wars, Legacy MCs. All right. Um, <laughs> which one is this one? Oh, this one. Okay. Let's do. Let's do mysticism. It's just one turn. All right, who we have here? We've got a siege tower. We will send him to Mains. Alright. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's it for this game. Oops, I didn't record that section. Oh, well. All right, last of my player 10 turn games. All right, I guess let's just move this guy down. Keep moving people over. All right, this guy can just be an alert for now. shoot at him just yet, but I'll just stand alert for now. Alright, I guess I'm trapped. Because I don't have any way to attack him, any way to get past him. Maybe I can do it this time now. We'll have to see. My troops are merely passing by. Okay. Play by a cloud game where I'm going against Dave. Huh, wonder if he just sent his settler back inside to keep him safe from me. Did he attack me? No, he hasn't attacked me. We're just kind of chilling here. I'm actually going to go... I'm going to go up by one this way. Okay. This guy needs orders. I'm just gonna send him over here. Okay. See where that goes, where that takes us. Alright, and we're starting a new game. I'm calling Race to the Stars. It's a game with both my brothers and uh, whatever uh, computer players. And we're gonna see who can win the space race first. Um, I've turned off all other win conditions, so uh, no one can sneak in with like a religious win or a culture win. You just got to win by getting to space first. So uh, I picked Gilgamesh, uh, Dave picked Eminatori. Uh, Dan, I did check that there were at least three sieves that had good um, science. Uh, Korea would be another one with good science. But Dan decided to go ahead and just do um, uh, random, which is fine. I mean, uh, I was going to try and do a random pool where it was just... Um, uh, whatchamacallit, um, only, only sieves that were good for science, but I had to pick six sieves, and I didn't think that would be fair, uh, because there were, there were not at least six that could do it. All right, so for research, what we're going to do is, I'm going to start with mining, so I can take care of these rock resources around me that can help me out, then we're going to go straight to writing. Right, and then I'm going to do astrology because there is something to be said for being able to um, uh, buy stuff. So uh, in my single player game of Gilgamesh, I was able to buy some research and stuff like that with, with faith. Uh, I'm probably going to want to do some irrigation so I can get luxuries. Then... 
I'll go ahead and do bronze working to make sure that uh, they can't just uh, kill me, right? Because even though you can't win by killing, you can still stop <coughs> um, progress, right, in science uh, with that. And then I'm going to go for... So that lets you build a library. And then I'm going to go straight for um, a uni. And... Uh, I think that's enough planning for now. Now, for production, I was kind of looking online on the Civ um, subreddit. Uh, one day someone asked, what is the first thing you build? It wasn't related to this. Someone was just saying what they build, and I was kind of looking to see. And someone said they spam scouts. And the reason they do that is that the bonuses you get from first meeting um, the city-states is so worth it that it's better to spam scouts. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bunch of scouts to start. Okay, then I want to do a uh, monument, um, and then I'm going to do builder, so I can take care of these um, rocks here, <coughs> and then I think at that point, I'm probably going to want to do a settler at that point, so I'm going to leave that open. Let's see where we go. This guy needs orders. I'm just going to explore my my near surroundings here. All right, and we've discovered a new continent, Australia. Okay. If I'm on Australia, I'm going to laugh. All right, um, so that's that. And uh, while I was doing this turn, Dan started doing his turns. So I've got at least uh, one of these uh, player damn turn games to do. And we'll go from there. Call forth from the All right. So this is the one where I'm at war with Germany. Let's see. I'm also trying to do good uh, faith thingamabobbers. Let's do this. Placement. All right. Cool. All right. Um, still at war with them. I don't know where their actual capital is. Must be back that way. Up that way. Um, let's see. Let's move this guy up here. Ooh, found his catapult, or at least one of them. Alright, that unit needs orders. Um, <laughs> Alright, that seems worth it. Ooh, no, but he's got that guy back there. Let's see what else I can do about this situation here. Alright, this guy, well, at least he'll present a tempting target, I imagine. Alright, this guy, let's heal for a little bit. He can skip. Alright, let's build a ziggurat over here. Alright. Next turn. Mm, still my turn. Alright, we've got a siege tower. Siege towers are tight. Let's go to Chengdu. And this guy can start walking up this way. All right, we'll see what happens next turn. All right, and uh, I'm sure there'll be more to play this evening or afternoon, but that's it for now. I'll see you next time. Bye.